China, home of the Great Wall, the most famous architectural achievement of the ancient Chinese is undoubtedly the Great Wall of China, largely built during the reign of Qin Emperor Shi Huangzi 3,000 years ago. There are more thousands of years old infrastructures like imperial palaces, the Forbidden City, altars and temples, Temple of Heaven, Confucian Temple, Temple of Guan Yu, mausoleums, etc. And they're still intact and carry a legacy of great architectural and engineering history. What has happened to China now? Welcome back to the world of China. Give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel, it's free. Now let's get back. On March 18th, thousands of pedestrians on the streets of Shenzhen, China ran for their lives when the 355 meter high tower shook even though there was no earthquake or any legitimate reason for this scary event. The incident has raised alarm bells about the construction quality of Chinese constructors around the world. In the homeland, building collapses are not uncommon in China, where careless construction standards and rapid urbanization have led to hastily constructed sites. The urbanization rate in the context of hot growth cities has caused many large housing and infrastructure projects in China that failed to meet standards. In the five years from 2007 to 2012, a total of 37 bridges collapsed in China, including 13 bridges under construction, which killed 182 people and injured 177, an average of 7.4 deadly bridges per year. This has overpassed earlier records, and from 2012 to 2021, it's increasing swiftly. Where thousands of years old architectures are holding on their ground, what is going on with the recent infrastructures? August 28, 2012. A bridge in Harbin City that cost 1 billion yuan collapsed, killing three people. But as many as six bridges have collapsed across China since July 2011, and most have been attributed to poor construction and overloading. If we look at the surveys and news, the data is scary. June 15, 2007. A section of Zhujiang Bridge collapsed after it was hit by a boat in South China's Guangdong Province. A section of the Zhujiang Bridge over the Xijiang River in Guangdong Province is seen collapsed after being hit by a boat laden with sand on June 15, 2007. The boat hit a pier at the bridge connecting Foshan to the neighboring city of Heshan, and at least 150 meters of the 1600 meter bridge structure collapsed. August 16, 2007. An overloaded truck carrying iron powder caused a bridge to collapse in Taiwan and Shaanxi Province. The Tinghe Bridge of Guxiang Town in China's Shaanxi Province collapsed in October 21st. A truck full of stones attempted to cross and the bridge gave way, sending the truck and a woman on an e-bike plunging into the Shangshan River below. Nobody was killed. The driver of the truck was able to save himself and the woman, but the incident again raised a question that's being asked all over China. March 27, 2008. A 60-meter section of Jintang Bridge fell onto a cargo ship near the eastern port of Ningbo, east of China's Zhejiang province. The vessel collided with part of the lower span of the Jintang Bridge in Ningbo at 1.15 a.m. on March 27, causing the collapse of a 60-meter long section that fell onto the ship. 16 of the Tony crew on board had been rescued, but rescuers were still searching for the four missing. Officials speculated that the missing crew members might have been trapped in the cabin by the collapsed section weighing about 3,000 tons. The ship has a design capacity of 7,000 tons. More than 10 salvage ships were trying to lift the collapsed part of the bridge and pull the damaged cargo ship out. Nobody was working on the bridge at the time, and there were no passerby at the site since the bridge had not opened to traffic, according to local construction headquarters. In a similar accident in June last year, nine people were killed after a cargo vessel get a section of the 1600 meter Zhujiang Bridge in Guangdong Province, causing part of the bridge spanning the Xijiang River to collapse. July 14, 2011 The Wuyishan Gongguan Bridge in China's Fujian Province collapsed, killing one and injuring 22 others. July 15, 2011 The number 3 Quintang River Bridge collapsed under the weight of a truck that was carrying over 100 tons of steel plates. July 19, 2011 The Baihe Bridge in Huairao District, Beijing collapsed under the weight of a 46-foot-long truck. August 1, 2011 An overbridge collapsed when a truck crashed into its concrete support in Zigong, Sichuan Province. August 2012 Part of the Yang Mingtun Bridge in Harbin City collapsed, killing three and injuring five. May 4, 2014 A bridge has collapsed in southern China, killing 11 people. The Stone Arc Bridge was being constructed illegally at a village in Guangzhou City, Guangdong Province. 
It collapsed, killing five people instantly, while six died later in the hospital. The collapse of the Jinhai Bridge in Shuhai, South China's Guangdong province, has taken the lives of two construction workers, with the other three still missing. The accident was reported on Sunday morning at the construction site of the Jinhai Bridge in Shuhai, South China's Guangdong province. Partly of the intercity rail transit line from Zhuhai Station to Zhuhai Jinwan International Airport Station. First responders found two construction workers dead in the flooded box girder after a section of the bridge collapsed into the sea. Rescue operations were underway for a notable time, according to local authorities. Rescue crews from emergency services, maritime affairs, traffic, fire, and public security were on the scene to carry out emergency search and rescue operations. Three people died and two were injured when a highway bridge collapsed on Thursday in China's eastern province of Jiangsu, state news agency Xinhua said. The bridge in the city of Wuxi fell on three cars below, killing three people in two of the vehicles. Although the third vehicle was empty, it added. Three cars and two trucks fell from the bridge as it collapsed. October 11, 2019 At least three people have been confirmed dead in eastern China after a highway overpass collapsed and crushed cars below it according to local officials. Videos posted online showed a large section of the bridge in Jiangsu province swaying before falling on top of moving vehicles on Thursday night. One clip posted on the social media app Weibo showed the bridge narrowly missing a small three-wheel car, whose driver leaped out and ran away. Other images showed crushed cars with only their front sections or headlights visible under a huge block of gray concrete. August 31, 2021 On Saturday, a restaurant in North China's Shaanxi province collapsed, killing 29 and injuring 28, according to local authorities. The incident occurred at Jushan Restaurant in Shenzhuang, Shangfen County, where a birthday banquet was being held for Li, an 80-year-old man. 57 people were pulled from the wreckage in a rescue operation that lasted until the early hours of Sunday. The cause of the incident is reportedly still under investigation. In March, a hotel collapsed in Fujian province, with at least 20 confirmed dead and 40 injured. The hotel was being used as a COVID-19 quarantine center. The hotel had violated construction laws, along with repeated renovation work violations, according to China's State Administration of Work Safety. August 11, 2021, a bridge collapsed seconds after a resident walked over it in a park in eastern China. The video, captured in the city of Shaoxing in Zhejiang province on August 11, shows a bridge suddenly collapsing. Fortunately, no one was injured. The park has been temporarily closed, according to reports. Tinghu Park was built and opened to the public on September 28, 2019. The case is under investigation, reports said. The video was provided by local media with permission. And unfortunately, the list will go on and on. Ultimately, aside from the danger to human life, Tofu projects great trust issues for the government, undermining citizens' belief in the reliability of government to create safe infrastructure. Sadly, it'll therefore probably take more accidents like those we've seen to create sufficient political will to clean up and prevent so many of these projects from happening in the future. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching this video. If you've enjoyed this video, then give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Watch more about the 9-11 dam collapse. The link is in the description below.